The Talisker 8, the only time in history you can say I'm in love with an eight-year-old and the police won't throw your ass in jail. This whiskey has so much peat, its last name should be Sampras. It has more iodine than a makeshift hospital during wartime. It has more ash than Winston Churchill's dustbin. At 59.7% ABV, this whiskey has so much strength, it came in second at the Strongman Championships. A whiskey so brutal, it makes Genghis Khan look like an Oompa Loompa. Speaking of Oompa Loompas, Johnny Depp. If Johnny Depp had been drinking the Talisker 8 instead of mega pints of red wine, he might have been able to protect himself from that crazy <laughs> All I'm saying is that this juice has so much punch, Mike Tyson has come out of retirement to see what the fuss is all about. So, if you're into brown on brown violence, then stick around, because things are about to go crazy. What's up, lovers of whiskey and watchers of YouTube? I'm the Malt Activist and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, well, thank you for stopping by. It's highly appreciated. Listen, if you're into whiskey as much as I am, then this channel is for you. We talk about whiskey, we drink the whiskey, we make whiskey lists. Man, we even bathe in whiskey. Instead of regular water, I pour cast strength whiskeys into my bathtub and I take bubble baths. I even shampoo with high strength whiskeys. It keeps me fumigated if you know what I mean, and totally sanitized. That's why I never catch any diseases. Mm -hmm. So if you're as passionate about whiskey as I am, then please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, so you know every time I post a video. To my subscribers, I cannot thank you enough for your support, for your kindness, for your, uh, for your loyalty, and it's highly, highly appreciated. So thank you for being here, thank you for letting this channel grow, and you guys mean the world to me, and I love you. So, let's get on with it. As you might have guessed, what we have here is this Talisker eight years old. That's right, an eight year old whiskey served at natural cost strength of 59.7% ABV. Woo, are you kidding me? That is insane. I've noticed that a lot of these new cost strength whiskeys that are coming out are very, very close to 60%, either a percentage up or a percentage down, but very, very close to that 60% mark. So I like that. What do we know about this? We know that this has been matured in refill bourbon barrels, which previously held very, very peaty and smoky whiskeys. It says here on the label, from a selection of our smokiest reserves. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> All I know is that I have this whiskey in my hand. This is the special release 2021. Now, if you don't know, Diageo releases a special bottling of whiskeys every single year. And um, last year, I was not impressed. I was not impressed at all. The 2020 special release was just, oh man. It left me drained, it left me disappointed. And so this year I said, you know what? I'm not gonna taste any of the, their other stuff because A, it's super expensive. Oh my God, it's just crazy expensive. And I was like, I'm not touching any of that. So all I did this year was get my hands on two of the releases that I liked from the previous year. One is of course the Lagavulin 12 cost strength. I have been in love with the 12 year old Lagavulin cost strength since I was five years old. That's right, that's what my mother fed me when I was five, the Lagavulin 12 year old cost strength and I will always be thankful to her for that. Second was the Talisker 8 from last year which was an absolute corker and I'm really, really looking forward to trying this out again. Hmm, look at this, look at this. Look at this color, very, very pale color. I'm 99% I'm sure that they do not color their whiskeys uh, because if they did, they wouldn't have left it at this, at this rather diabetic piss color, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so yeah, uh, and oh, what I like, what I like is, check this out, check this out. They have this cool, cool dragon, cool dragon, and if you have a phone, and if you have a camera, all you have to do is scan, scan this QR code, 
okay and and this whole thing becomes like this augmented reality thing and this dragon it comes alive look at this packaging i love the packaging well done diageo good job uh, but you know, look at this. This dragon comes alive, and 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 a very uh, sexy Scottish Scottish voice tells us tells us about the history of this rogue sea fury. Ooh. Love it. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have a camera, uh, here I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna hold that here. So if you if you're on a laptop or a desktop, you can. Uh, you, here you go. I think that's better. There. Oops. Yeah, so if you're on a laptop, you can you can scan this QR code and it will it will tell you the story about this rogue sea fury. It's just fun in games. Good packaging. So well done, Diageo. Uh, I will give you credit where credit is due. What does it say on the box? A wild spirited scotch with a bold and brine licked character. Brine licked character? That sounds weird. Brine licked. I've never used the phrase brine licked in my life. Anyway, so here we are with the Talisker 8. As you can see, I've drunk a fair amount. Um, actually, this was lent to me by my friend. This was lent to me by my friend. And I know he watches my videos and he would absolutely uh, kill me if I didn't give him credit for it. So thank you, Mr. Sujit Mitra, for lending me this bottle of the Talisker 8. Are you ready to try it? Well, I'm ready to try it. Ooh, a nice healthy dollop of whiskey. <sighs> yeah, so that's what it looks like. And in this sexy malt activist glass, which I have been promising to, to, to put on my merch, uh, on my merch catalog. Uh, but I haven't because it's the logistics are Im impossible anyway <sighs> See listen man if you know who I am and if you've known me for many many years like most of you do Then you know my weakness is high strength whiskeys matured in Bourbon barrels with a sprinkling of smoke and peat and this is exactly what this whiskey is about so when I smell it When I nose it I get a rush of happiness and so it is what it is you know I'm conditioned in that way that there are some people who hate the smell there are some people who die for this smell and I'm in the latter camp and I love and I love a nose like this give me a high strength whiskey peated high strength whiskey matured in bourbon barrels any time of the day and I will not refuse that dram hmm very intense, very intense. Let's see what do we have on the nose. Okay, smells young though, for sure. Smells young, quite medicinal. I get bandages, iodine, maybe even a hint of Vicks. Lots of green fruit, custard, seaweed, and that ocean brine. Yes, I think that's what they meant by brine licked. It has that ocean, it's like this, this ocean sea spray saltiness which i really like so i like this nose it does smell young it does smell a bit thin but you know what i'm going to overlook that in light of the other Ooh, nose burn not many people enjoy a nose burn but you know ask ask the ask the crazy ones who are into these kinds of whiskeys. They love a good old fashioned nose burn. Do you like a nose burn? If you do, leave it in the comment below. I wanna see how many freaks there are out there like me who love a good old fashioned alcohol nose burn. Yes, I like it. The nose is good. There's not much wrong with it. Um, is it one dimensional? Eh. But I know what I'm getting into, right? I know this is a young whiskey matured in bourbon barrels. So I know exactly what I'm looking for and it's exactly what I find. So it is what it is. Would I have cared for a slightly uh, more exotic nuance to this whiskey? Sure, but you know, this is, this is like very basic whiskey making. I, I think it's, it's good barrels, good casks that are being used. The Telesca distillate is always fantastic. So 
uh, nothing really much for me to complain about uh, other than yeah very predictable but in a good way you know just like predictable in the sense that you come home and your dog will come running up to you and then like pee on your leg predictable and there's nothing wrong with that sorry that was a really, really crap analogy but it is what it is yes i like it time to drink it chin chin That's really good. Oh my God. <sighs> Mind you, it's, it's early morning where I am right now. And maybe I should have lined my stomach up with, I don't know, uh, thermocol or cardboard boxes or something to absorb this whiskey. It's currently burning a hole in the the layers of in the linings of my stomach and intestine but i'm loving every second of it Ooh. <sighs> yeah that's massive that's huge obviously 60 percent what can i expect ah uh, what do i taste i taste uh i taste uh i taste that brine again that that's that salty ocean brine uh, seaweed, it's quite herbal, there's black peppers, uh, there's lemons, and that green fruit is back again with some pears. So, whoa. Man, this is, uh, yeah, good. I like it. So, what do I say? This is a massive whiskey, dude. Do, first of all, do not drink it. Do not drink it during the morning time, uh, and especially do not drink it uh, unadulterated, without any water. Uh, hitting hitting your uh, your your insides your innards with 60% alcohol. Uh, it's not It's not recommended. However, it's for a freak like me quite a pleasurable experience. I must say See once you get haha -ha, once you get past the pain there's pleasure remember that mm, For other things as well, but that's for a different channel anyway Get past the pain and you'll find the pleasure. And now, now that my palate is absolutely numb to the alcohol and to the pinpricks, I can find the sweetness. Okay, sorry, I'm back. There was, uh, so my camera's acting up, it's heating up and it's switching off for some reason. So I'm gonna sign off right now. And all I wanna say is that yes, I do like this whiskey. I think it's a really nice whiskey. In fact, I'll give it a B. A solid B, which means it's a good whiskey. However, it costs 90 pounds. 90 pounds for this bottle, right? For an eight-year-old, you should not be spending 90 pounds on a whiskey. So what I suggest is nine of you get together, put a tenner in and buy this whiskey and then just taste it. And that's all I'm going to say about it. So, uh, because I don't want to get into the whole price thing because it's super subjective, but I think 90 pounds for an eight-year-old whiskey is just too much to spend. Just because it's a Diageo special release, damn, that should not be the reason. Anyway, like I said, camera's acting up. We have technical difficulties. I think it was the explosive intro. Hey, if you like that intro, uh, hit that like button hit the, and, and leave it down in the comments below uh, and I will do more of that. So thank you. I hope you. I hope uh, I did justice to this whiskey and, uh, and justice to this video. Uh, thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you to the old ones. And uh, thank you for being around and I love you all. And until next time, I'm the Malt Activist. <laughs>